Today, I'm going to talk with you about the power of hope. And there is real power in having hope in the future. It says in Proverbs 13, verse 12, Hope deferred makes the heart sick. I have known so many that have had sick hearts because somehow, somewhere, they lost their hope. And they just don't have very much to live for. They just are kind of going through every day in the blahs and kind of pulling themselves along. Have you ever felt your hopes in the future slipping away? Many have. And if so for you right now, you have perhaps temporarily lost sight of the hope that followers of God must place in the promises of God. The promises of God are not generic. They are for you. And you can, you can hold on to these promises instead of holding on and anchoring yourself to disillusionment. If you're feeling discouraged, worried, or even worse. Remember the words of Psalms 31, verse 24. Be of good courage, and God shall strengthen your heart. Because God's promises, we can have hope for the future. Because God's promises are there in our life. Because God's promises are not generic, but for you individually. No matter how desperate your circumstances may seem to your human mind. After all, God has promised to keep us as God's own for all eternity. If we'll place our hope and our trust in God. Yes, my friend, we will face disappointments and failures in life. But these are only temporary setbacks. And we, we have a secure security in God when we place our hope in God. God promises you peace. God promises you joy. God promises you eternal life. And this is not just life after death. This is being totally alive every single day, living life to its fullest, realizing your potential, not just in one life, but in daily life. We set our hopes on heaven. That means we set it about as high as we possibly can instead of looking down. We hold firmly to the promises of eternal life in my life today so that we can withstand struggles and the storms of the world. When your hope is high in God, the storms and the troubles, it is like water going down a duck's back. Yes, you'll realize they're there, but they won't move you at the depth of your soul. You'll know something in you, around you, through you is greater. And you will survive. God bless you. I wish you a wonderful week.